learning please be active in home work you have to work very hard you have to help your parents you have to be very very active and you learn work because if you don't if you grow up without learning work my dear the world will be very hard for you so you have to learn how to do work at a home and in don't get annoyed because they told you to go and do the other thing to go and fetch water out of the utensils don't get annoyed it is part of us and you have to do it have you heard you have to learn how to do work leaving that aside it was a, a just a, a by the way we are still looking at a literacy one primary three but before we look at today's work can you please remind me what we looked at in the last lesson? Yes, Barbara. Yeah, she has talked about insects. And we looked at uh, different parts of an insect. So we say it, an insect has got three many body parts. And we say that uh, that was the head, where we can find the pillars or antenna. Then the compound eyes on the head and the proboscis on the head. Then the second main body part of an insect is the thorax. Everybody, thorax. Somebody say thorax. You know it is thorax. Everybody, thorax. So that part of the, of the insect is where we find the legs and the wings. Then the last part is the abdomen. Everybody abdomen everybody and that part is so sensitive for the insects it's where we find an important part in life and that is the spiracles because insects use spiracles for breathing so spiracles are found on the abdomen of any insect so those are the three main body parts of any insect we went ahead and looked at it functions or uses of different parts of any insects. We looked at the pillars. The pillars are used for feeling. Like I told you, touch your body, pinch your body, pinch your body. What are you, do you feel anything? For me, I'm feeling pain. None. If I continue pinching myself, it is painful. So instead of having the skin, the insect uses the pillars, those pointed those pointed things on the top of the head of an insect are called the pillars. We saw them when we were looking at the parts of an insect. So it uses those ones for feeling and for us we use the skin for feeling. Can you pinch yourself? Pinch hard. Pinch hard. I don't see you pinching yourself. Uh -huh. Then we looked at the proboscis. For us we have the mouth. Touch your mouth. Touch your mouth. Show me your mouth. Yeah, for it, it doesn't have the mouth, it has the proboscis. And that proboscis is used for sucking food, water, and nectar. And for them, they enjoy nectar. And nectar is got from flowers. So the proboscis is helpful on an insect because it uses it for sucking food, water, and the nectar. Then we saw the wings. Most insects have got wings. Those wings are used for flying. They are used for moving from one place to another. Most insects have to fly. And if you find that an insect is moving, sometimes like the fly, if you find it moving, you find that it is eating something from there. Then if you, if you, you come nearer it, it will just put up the, the wings and it flies away. It hides itself. Then we have the spiracles, and I say the spiracles are used for breathing, as we have the nose. Also, insects have got it, they are spiracles for breathing. You can't survive or you can't live a happy life when you're not breathing in and in out. So, insects use spiracles for breathing in and in out. Then, today we are still looking at it. Insects. We have two categories of insects. We have the true insects and the untrue insects.
essence. The true essence have got their own characteristics and the untrue essence have got their characteristics as we are going to look at it then. Before we continue with the untrue essence, let us look at the characteristics of true essence. Remove 
a small part of it, it will continue having its leg because the joints are very many in that leg and if it, apart from when you plucked it from the, uh, the thorax. But if you say, let me just remove the small part here, it will remain with its leg and it will continue. It will not be hurt. Then also, the insects can fly. Mm -hmm. Can you please 
thank you for trying. Good girl. Yeah, who can tell us? Uh, for them, they are different because they have two main body parts. These insects here, they have Main body parts. For the true insects, they have three main body parts, and for the case of untrue insects, they have two main body parts. It may, you might find that it has the head and the thorax because the thorax is very important, it's where we find the spiracle. So it can't miss out to have the the, I, mean, I mean the abdomen. The abdomen is where we find the spiracles. So you may find that it's having the abdomen and the egg. Those are the two main body parts of those untrue insects. Then they also have four pairs of legs. You can say that they have four pairs of legs. In total, you must count those legs when they are when they are eggs. So when you count that the legs are eight, it means that those insects belong to untrue, untrue insects. So they have 18 legs. They have 18 legs. These untrue insects, they have 18 legs. So can we sit upright? Attention. Stand up. Sit down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Okay, down. Let us read through. Together, let us read through what we looked at it today. Characteristics of true insects. The first one is read louder so that I can hear you. Uh -huh. Insects have three main body parts. See? Then insects have three pairs of legs. Insects have three pairs of legs. Then insects breathe through spiracles. Insects have jointed legs. Then those insects can fly. Examples of untrue insects we have the spiders, the mites, the ticks. Then characteristics of untrue insects we have, they have two main body parts, which makes them different from the true insects. Then they have 18 legs. Then they will ask you how many pairs of legs has the untrue insect? I say the untrue insect has got four pairs of legs, which total to 18 legs. As true insects have got three pairs of legs, which total to 60 legs. Copy this work in a very good handwriting. After that, you write the exercise. Be keen on your life. Keep 